What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q. Back with another video. You know what it is, man. I know you're looking at this and trying to figure out what is this. Oh, you already know. Anyway, so check this out, man. Look, before we get started in this video, I need you guys to hit the like button. Do what you got to do, man. Share the video if you want. Drop a comment at below. Or drop a comment at below. Drop a comment below and um, just tell me how you're doing. Anyway, man, so check this out, man. I finally found it. I can't believe it. I finally found it. Um, this is like one of my dreams to come true. Um, I kind of wish I was on, I kind of wish it was mine, but it's all to the good, man. So check this out, man. Let me get to the point. All right. And I got a little haul to share with you guys what I got from there. I'm going to show you guys in a minute, but the place is an Amazon return place type thing. Um, you know, like the place called give me five and the other places like back East somewhere, man, that's not out here. Yes. It's out here now. Yes. Today. Now. Didn't get any video footage. I went on a $2 day. I'm going to post up what he shows how his prices is. And I'll post up some pictures um, of what his bins are. It's an Amazon, Amazon return pallet store. You dig through the bins, you know. But peep game. It's only like 10 bins. It's very small. But very big. If you guys know what I mean. I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um... He's got the wooden bins. You can see in the pictures and everything. I'm going to get video footage next time. I talked to him and everything. Guy's only been open for maybe going on two weeks now. Um, he told me he's still in a hole, but the business is good. People, More people are coming. He said like the first day, maybe like five people showed up. That was it. Second day, he had like 30 people showing up. Um, his first day, he does $10 and then it goes down. You guys see it. Um, but it was like exciting to go. I think he has 10 if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to video next time and I'll let you guys know. Um, again, I went on a $2 day and I did find some stuff that maybe sell, might not sell. Who knows? I didn't want to leave empty handed, but it was a beautiful thing. He takes all different types of payments. Um, my total came out to like $16 for the stuff I got that I'm going to show you, but located right here in Chino, he's actually closer to Cali reseller Louise. So if you're watching this video, man, there's a new spot and putting up the address. Got to share with everybody as much as I want to keep it to myself. It ain't going to happen. So there's always enough cheese to go around. We all going to eat. All right. So anyway, uh, but yes, his Amazon return. I'm hoping he grows. I hope everything goes good for him, man. And he grows and grows and grows. Thus, uh, that's one of the first things I wanted to do was an Amazon return. But I figured like it was going to cost some buku dollars, like big money. And I'm like, man, maybe I'll start off small. That's what I went into the thrift store situation. But without further ado, man. Guys, if you're local in Chino area, Riverside, Corona, Inland Empire, San Bernardino County, wherever you are, check this guy's place out, man. Address is posted up. I'm posting up pictures, as you guys see. Hopefully, I'm posting everything up. But um, it's, it's a small store. Uh, 2,000 square feet is the building, he told me. So you figure floor space only is less than 2,000 square feet because you got to count for the offices and everything. High ceilings. But he's doing it. And I'm just like, I'm, I, you don't understand how motivated I am because I was like, ah, it's impossible. You can't do it with a small space. You need a huge space. Nah, you can do it with a small space. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Really excited for this guy, man. I mean, I'm like, I'm happy to go shopping. I'm going on a $10 day, which is Saturday. So you probably see this video Saturday night when I drop it, but it's a beautiful thing. I went on a $2 day. I was going to go back on a 50 cents day. The last day he was doing it for 50 cents. I think normally a dollar, but he was doing it for 50 cents, but I didn't get a chance to go. Wifey made dinner, had to stay home and eat. I was hungry. Anyway, so look, first of all, let me show you what I got. Look, let's get into it. So one of the things I found was this GI Joe. Now the issues with the GI Joe, uh, this is Snake Eyes. This, this is with the new movie come out. I'm assuming, I guess, you know, but it's all damaged up, but all the parts are still intact. Everything is still in there. Um, got a little wear on it. So this thing right here, if it was like really good condition, it would probably go for about $30. I'll post up a comp here. Um, I listed mines for 20 bucks, I think, and I'm going to take the best offer, but $2, $2 plus tax. It was like $2 and change and everything. I'll show everything in a little bit. But anyway, this was a good find. I think uh, it would have been better if the box was still intact and no one damaged it. Even if this part was okay, the rest is fine. Um, but they are selling. They're going listed for like 30 but only selling for 20 But all the listings are like $30 and up. So I listed mine for 20 to take the best offer. It's all good, man. G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes. So I think that was a good find right there. Okay. Go over there. And then the next find right here 
was this thousand piece puzzle. Um, it's by, ah, sorry about the light glare guys. Where is that, where is that light glare coming from? Is that my computer? Okay, see that? That is my computer, I think. I don't know, look, anyway, man, found this thousand piece puzzle. It's by Van Gogh. You guys know who he is, Van Gogh. Now, he has some very expensive oil paintings. So when I did type this in at first, I typed in famous oil painting, um, Van Gogh Sunflower. That, I didn't even type in puzzle. And the stuff was coming up $200, $300. And then I checked the soul comps, $200, $300. I was so excited. I grabbed all of them. And then I realized, wait a minute. Those are actual paintings. Those are not puzzles. Okay. So anyway, then I ended up typing a 1,000 piece puzzle. Some of them came up. Not the exact match. But they are going for about $20, $25. I don't even know if there was any soul comps. But for 2 bucks each, I went on and took them. Um, I guess he's a famous painter. Never heard of him, but he's known, I guess, as painting sale. So maybe his puzzles will sell. We'll see. I think I listed this one for 20 bucks also. And I think 20 bucks plus shipping and take the best offer. Ended up getting three of these, as you can see, because that was all was there. Again, I went on a $2 day. Uh, let me show you what else I got. All right, I'm back, man. I had to go find it. I'm losing my stuff lately. Anyway, so check this out, man. This next thing I got was this bicycle seat, like a 10-speed seat. This is a... You guys know that name, man? I can't even pronounce that name. I was about to say c dude. But um, this is um, S-G-O-D-D-E, whatever it is. It's a gel seat. Um, feels good. It'll be good on your butt talks. Yeah, your butt talks. Anyway, um, comes with a... Damn, I knocked everything over. Comes with the uh, seat cover. The only thing is, when I looked it up, other people had their seat covers and they had the name on the seat covers. This one is a generic one. But anyway, these are going for like 20 bucks. If there were sold comps, I think the sold comps were like 18, maybe 20 bucks and everything. It does sell. So I went and grabbed this two bucks, man. Figure I'll try this and out and see. Brand new. Um, just out of it. I'm going to throw my poly bag over it like a clear one. Make it look real neat. So as soon as it sells, it'll go. So this is another thing I picked up. I got two more things to show you. I'm going to go find them. I'll be right back. All right, YouTube. I found my other stuff, man. I don't know what happened. Um, I kind of put stuff here and there. I don't know. Some of us, you know, whatever, man. Let me show you what else I got. Boom, right here. Picked up this um, Family Nurse Protection Certification Intensive Review, fourth edition. Um, I looked it up on Amazon. Um, I couldn't scan the labels, but I ended up taking the labels off. I scanned the whole book instead. Book was coming up $32 on Amazon, but now. One thing I did miss on Amazon, it has a little red thing right here. It says updated, and this one's not updated. So not going to list it on Amazon. I did scan the barcode, and this book, if it was brand new on eBay, is selling for $50, $60, up to $100 or so, I guess. Um, I'm going to price this thing probably at $25, $30. Listen on every app except for Amazon. I'm not going to listen on Amazon because... It's not fitting the right description, and I don't want to have to deal with it. Uh, one of the good things is has the digital access, and then boom, right there. The barcode has not been scratched off, so it's good to go on that. Um, so if you guys ever pick up some books like that, and it has a digital access, make sure that information is in there. You never know. Anyway, man, um, going to the last and final items. Um, again, this place is pretty cool, man. Um, if you guys are local, go check it out. I'm going there tomorrow. Although you won't see this video, but I'll do a video on it because I'm going to be filming there. I'm going to see if I can interview the dude, man, because um, he seems like a pretty cool, pretty cool dude, man. The the last thing I found was this Funko 5, um, Funko 5 Freddy. This is low bit. I don't know the name of this one and everything, but this one is going for about 18 to 20 bucks. Now, I remember my site that I go on to order these, these things were like 8 to 10 dollars. And I was like, never mind, I'm not going to buy it. But I found one for $2. Very clean. I'm going to keep it in a plastic. Actually, I'm going to take this out and use my poly bag because it's got the um, Amazon sticker on it. Uh, brand new. Very clean. Got it for 2 bucks, so 18 20 bucks. So um, I think I did pretty good, man. I think I did really good. Um, maybe $100 profit. Who knows? Other than that, man, it's my first time going to this place, and I can't wait to go back. Um, again, I went on a $2 day. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow, which is Saturday, and it's $10 day. Yeah, $10 day on Saturday. So we'll see how it works out. Depends on what they have. 
maybe I'll hold back and come back on a $2 day or something. It just depends, man. Who knows, man? Well, look, man, it's your boy Hustle Q, man. Want to do this quick video. Probably not even quick, though. Want to do this video, show you what I got, man, a haul. And uh, we'll go from there, man. Peace.